of T7L Radio. This is Seven Mitchell. I got my co-defendant. I'm going to let her introduce herself. This is May with Nay TV. Nay. If you ain't heard about me, you better go find that. It's Nay TV. Word. What's poppin', Nay? Ain't nothing. Enjoying a nice day. Word. Word. January 21st, Queen of the Ring Winter War Spawn Session is going down. It sure is. Don't you know that they added girls to the cards? Who? The Winter War card. Who got added? I'm looking at the I'm looking at the roster right now. Because I was like, hold on, because when, when you did the interview with Dina Brass, I had already did a blog on Winter Wars card. And she wasn't on it. Oh, I got you. She made me go back and look. I had to do some homework. Wow. And see right. and see the addition. Oh, all right. Right. They had added a couple battles on, so I know I know it's gonna be fire. And and I like I was saying in my blog, like they don't have no matchups, no clear matchups. Like you got this person versus this person. Right. So I was like that that's gonna be fire to see who they throw who they throw up against each other. Yeah, it's gonna be like the tournament setting. I'm looking at the roster, some of the girls. I've been interviewing a couple girls this week. Um when you look at the lineup, do you got a favorite or do you see somebody that may be a favorite to win this tournament? I want to see Unique Fatal, like, fuck something up. Like, I mean, she's got, she, she's fire with her bond. She's, her pen is there. She likes that word play. You know, she's aggressive. I, I want to see her actually fuck something up. Yeah. Her name be buzzing when it comes to female battle rap, period. Like, she's very underrated. You know what I mean? Yeah. Me. She's definitely underrated. Um, I don't know, yo, because you got a lot of different shit on this card. You got... I just had an interview with Miss Black Pearl. She she from Toronto. She deal with the antics and shit like that. So she gonna bring that flavor. You brought up Dina Brass, you know what I mean, from CT. She got a whole different style. So that's different. Then we got Cheddar and Beatrice from Cleveland. Like this shit crazy. Yeah, right. I, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find that damn thing on Facebook where they had it was different because I know um, I'm friends with a lot of the girls that's going to be on the sparring session right. and so they were, they had been promoing the card for like a month and they had them up as they um, profile pictures right. so I'm trying to find it for you to see exactly who they added well, because they did add a couple battles then you got Looney Boss that's one thing that I, I, I think is a blessing with this card though like the diversity when it comes to at least logistically like yo it's not just a whole bunch of girls in New York, you feel me? We got Detroit, right. Cleveland, Toronto, we got, I think, Seattle, I mean, it's VA. We got so many different areas being touched, not just New York. So, right. know, Queen of the Ring did their due diligence with trying to spread the word. In Carolina with Miss Lisa, yo, it's a lot of girls on this fucking card. It is. Now, like, yes, it is. And I found the first one, which was only Unique, Fatal, Flawless, Torture. Jade, Winter Cold, Nige, Mo Murder, Neon Cheddar, Charisma, Meatris, and Looney Boggs. And then I'm trying to find the other one that's updated. Well, I'm looking at the updated one because we got Furious Styles, T. White, Zoda Poet, Dina Brass, Miss Lisa, Misunderstood, Miss Black Pearl, and Post and Post Porter. So they so they added a good bit of girls to the card, yeah. and I felt like that, that at least you got more tablets. Everybody hollering about it's not enough female talent out there. At least they giving them girls a chance. Word. I got you know they say talent. I got Furious Styles on um, coming on the show. I think sometime next week we got it locked in uh, for her to come on the show. I saw she was in the three way battle. It was Furious Style versus Torture versus Jade. I think it was a three way battle. That shit was crazy. You gotta check that battle. Hey, I had seen a three way battle but I think Holly on demand was on was on that three way. And it was a while ago. Holly on was, Holly on demand got some it, big moves coming up soon. And it was a little I can't even think of all their names. It, it, I can't even think of all their names, but I, I know I seen, seen a couple three way battles. A couple of them where they had three girls and they was all, all going against each other. Right. I thought that was kinda interesting too. Yo, this shit is gonna be crazy. I know I can't wait. Word. Um, I can't wait. Well, you got unique uh, fatal. You know, what I mean, she's definitely a favorite. Uh, Flawless is dope. Um, yep. I'm. A, I don't know, yo. This is tough, but I like. I like. I like torture, yo. I like torture, Lonely like, Boss. 
Like later? I like footy ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw like one battle and I was hooked. I was like, yeah. Yeah, she got, she different. Yeah. She was different. We, we, so much. She definitely repping Detroit all day. Matter of fact, I got an interview with Lily Boss tonight. Matter of fact, so yeah, I'm gonna chop it up with her. She been doing her fucking thing. It's good these girls getting this queen of the ring of prince. Um, what's your thoughts on how they promoting shit? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like they might be some of the girls is promoting too much and may not be really um, focusing on the material? I don't know. I think that they could promo more. I think they could do more promotions. Like you had, um, I want to say that was flawless that did the video that Dina Brass was talking about. I had to go back and look yeah, at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's a good thing, you know, to keep the interest going, to keep the fans wanting to watch and in suspense on how the battle going to turn out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they should do blogs. You know, the girls should do blogs and talk their shit towards whoever, you know, being that it's a firing session. Yeah. So and just, you know, get their names out there and do what they have to do to show their face so that people can see them and know who they are. You know, know that they come in or reach out to the fans and, you know, let the fans get a feel of who they are as individual women. Facts. As I was telling you, you know, before. So, you know, I just think they should be, a, they should promo more. You know, I'm pretty sure that they are all coming with their A game with their pin. So, I would hope, you know, that everybody is prepared. I would hope that everybody is prepared, but I feel like once you get to your prepared stage, you should be promoing through it all. Right. I'm gonna keep it. You know, I'm gonna keep it a buck though, because I mean, I don't know how people work with their preparation, but I done seen some of these girls on social media a little bit too much for the damn event be going down soon. So, I mean, you can hype it up all you want, yo. But if you come next week on the twenty first unprepared, but I seen you on Facebook talking wow. shit. Oh yeah, we definitely gonna turn up on you. You going in, man. you know what I'm saying? Because you're doing too much, too much. You know, and you're not prepared for it. You're talking all that shit, but you're not backing it up. You know what I'm saying? And, and and a lot of these girls, you know, they talk they shit. They can back it up. It's just the, the moment of doing it. Like, right? right. fuck what you talking about. Let's see. Oh, facts. 